I'm Roger Norman. We're here at the Vegas Torino, and I'm, I'm really excited to have Armin Schwartz uh, racing with me here at this race. I'm, I'm living in uh, Germany and I'm coming out of World Rallying. I have been a World Rally car driver for almost 20 years and I just got into off-road racing uh, five years ago and uh, I enjoyed it very much.
come on up. Everybody knows off-road racing. Let's give it up. Armin Schwartz at the wheel. Armin, I gotta say, never, is this the first time in a truck? And it's first time raising a truck, yes. Love it? First time racing a truck. This is cool. Roger, what, what made you think of this man? Well, I, I went over to Finland and uh, and Armin taught me a few tricks and I came back from Finland after learning a few things from him and really kicked butt at the mint. Armin, great job, buddy. Thank you very much. Thanks once more if you into the team. Great job. Let's give it up for this guy. We, did, we had a great time and we did wonderful. Made it work. I don't know how, how we did, did actually. Uh, but truck worked really good today as well, you know, uh, coming off the Silver State win. It was very exciting because we, uh, we try to increase the speed, you know, mile by mile with more experience what we get and uh, not doing any, yeah, any stupid mistake. And, uh, so far it worked out, we only had a flat like five miles to the end. To change it. The biggest difference, of course, you don't pre-run here, and uh, there is certain certain things who are marked. I mean, in my, in my opinion, very very well, and then certain things, you know, they are marked, but they're not that bad, maybe for a truck. And then there are certain things there's no marks, and that is where you really you make your surprises. Uh, and uh, uh, there has been a couple of, of really big jumps, you know, what I didn't expect that we jumped, but yeah, it jumped pretty well, but it was pretty good. But uh, you had a couple of very nice like rally roads and uh, very fast ones that I quite like. That was, was nice. And also the technical twisty stuff was alright, but uh, there you feel the weight of the truck, you know. There I think the, the class one has a little advantage over the car, but in just in the line, a little tiny uh, twisty stuff. Well, I want to thank uh, first of all uh, Roger Norman's team, you know, they built a fantastic truck. Track and uh, I'm very happy that they give me the opportunity to race with them. Uh, and I think all our sponsors, I mean, beginning with the with the BF Goodrich tires, who are giving us all the best, best tires that I can think of. Uh, and then all my partners, you know, like K9 Filters, Bilstein uh, Springs, you know, they all pick us up very well. Well, we started 26, the biggest Torino, uh, 2010, and uh, uh, you know it's been about two months since I've been in the car, and the last time I raced, I had that accident with uh, the motorcycle, and. Um, you know, I haven't really done any driving since then, so I was a little, uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't doing very well, so I slowed down a little bit, and, you know, make sure I didn't get any flat tires. And then uh, after about an hour of driving, then, then it all just started clicking, and I picked up the pace. And uh, once I got by a few guys and was able to get some clear air, then I was able to make up some time. And uh, handed off the car to Armin, uh, three minutes and 40 seconds out of first place. And uh, we had good pit stops all day long. Uh, they were all around uh, a minute and 15 seconds to a minute and a half. And uh, so it went really well. Even even the driver's change was only a minute and a half. This is his first time in a trophy truck, so you know it's it's tough. It's uh, he's used to a car that really handles uh, well and you can you can dodge all the rocks and you know um, my truck is, is kind of wallowy and it's, it's completely different completely different to drive than a, than a class one car.